the COVID um, epidemic in Australia has really settled down and we've flattened the curve and we're seeing a lot less numbers now. In, in our screening clinic in the last week or so, the numbers of positives have been a lot less, which is, is very encouraging. Now's not the time to relax. We're, we're doing a really good job and compared to what we've seen overseas in Europe and the US, I think Australia's in a very good position, but we really sort of need to maintain what we're doing at the moment and just be very careful and follow the advice from the government and the Department of Health. By actually physical distancing and having a separation, you reduce your risk of actually catching the coronavirus from another person. Um, so that's the best way at this stage we can try and prevent spread. Um, the other ways of doing it are the um, personal hygiene. So if you do have a cough or a sneeze, you sort of cough into your elbow or into a tissue, throw the tissue into the bin. Washing your hands carefully, so you know, if you wash your hands with soap and water for at least 20 seconds and do that regularly to try and keep your hands clean. Don't touch your hat, face, so avoiding touching your eyes, mouth and nose if you haven't washed your hands. Um, as if your hands were contaminated, that would be a way you can spread it to yourself. By doing this, you do protect the vulnerable people in our population, so the elderly, the people with chronic medical conditions, our Aboriginal and Torres Strait Island people. So that sort of group is the ones we're really trying to protect you know, and keep them safe. Getting now into flu season, so it's important everyone gets along to the pharmacy or GP and gets the flu vaccine because that will also help protect you.